When it comes to safety in your church, many people overlook the safety in their children's ministry. Let's look at four important things that we should have in place to ensure the safety of our children. Hi, I'm Wayne Norris with Revitalized Church Coaching. We're all about helping you grow your church by reaching your community with the message of Jesus Christ and providing them hope. Safety has come to the forefront of our churches today. With the shootings that have happened, many people are concerned with people bringing guns into the church. But there's other areas of safety that we should be concerned. One of those areas is our children's ministry. Are we ensuring that we have policies and practices in place to ensure of this, the safety of the children in our care? The very first thing that we need to look at in our children's ministry is do we have an open environment? In other words, do we allow the parents to come with their children to observe or maybe to come and monitor to see what we provide? We do not want to have an environment that seems as if we are trying to hide anything. Foremost, we want to make sure that parents are comfortable with bringing their children to our church, into our children's ministry, and ensure that their children are safe and are in a safe environment. And so that first part, showing them where the children will be, allowing them to observe, helps comfort them especially if they are a first-time guest, it gives them comfort in knowing what services we're providing for their children and the safety of the environment that we are providing. The second part of that open environment is also, with that environment, is there a check-in and check-out process in place? Do the parents, when they bring their children, do we require them to leave their children's name, their name? their phone number, emergency information, food allergies, and any concerns that we need to be aware of for their child. By having these in place, this check-in and check-out, that gives the parent comfort to know that they're the only person or whoever they designate that can come and get their child out of the ministry program. We want to make sure that the children, when they come, that we have any information that we need and that when they leave that they leave with the parent or whoever the parent has designated to pick them up this ensures the safety of the child and that they do not go with someone that they should not go with next area that we should be concerned is do we have background checks for our children's ministry workers and volunteers now you may be comfortable with your child going with them because you know them uh, they're familiar with you. They may be like family to you. But a guest that comes in does not know them. And by telling them or letting them know that we do background checks on all of our people to, who work with our children, that ensures them that we have a safe environment for their child and gives them added comfort that their child is in a safe area with people that they know that they can trust. The last and final area that I'm going to share with you, along with having that open environment, having check-in, check-out process, having background checks, is that in our leadership, we need to have at least two deep leadership. Now, what that means is that we need to have at least two adults that are present any time that we are working with our children. This ensures that there's no one there by themselves that the concerns in society today that a child may say something that may be questionable and when you have another adult there that ensures that there's checks and balances when it comes to the safety of their children even though we ensure that we have good people working with our children we want to make sure that we create an environment for our guests to know that that safety concern that we have in place goes beyond the other areas uh, it also protects the liability of the church when you have too deep leadership. It allows for one person to be there to observe the other and also to ensure that each one is doing what they should do. One thing to be aware of when you do have too deep leadership is that I would recommend not having husband and wife teams doing ministry alone 
because obviously in today's society in the court of law if something did happen one could not be forced to testify against the other and so if you're going to have a husband wife team then i would have another additional person to be with them to give you added protection but not only that but give them added protection and to ensure that they do not have to worry about false accusations by having these four practices in place an open environment a check-in check-out process background checks and too deep leadership this ensures the safety of the children in our care not only does it ensure their safety but it protects the liability of the individuals that are taking care of the children and the liability of the church in addition to that it gives comfort to the parents ensuring that we have practices in place to make sure that their children are safe if this is your first time here, subscribe to get more videos like these as we help you grow your church by reaching the community, by sharing Jesus Christ and giving them hope. If you need help growing your church, contact us through Facebook or through our website. If you like this video, share it with others that you believe that it may help as well as like it. Leave comments below and share what you do in your children's ministry that ensures that your children are safe. We look forward to seeing you next time in future videos to help you reach your community.